Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ Bless, Most High in Christ Bless. I'm Captain Shemaya. Officer Asa. And today's another edition of 15 Minutes with the Captains. And today we're going to touch on holy days. Holy days. Very, very important. Holy days. So let's get right into it. Let's open up with Ecclesiasticus chapter 33 and verse 7. Ecclesiasticus chapter 33 and verse 7. Why doth one day excel another? When as all the light of every day in the year is of the sun. So why does, why does one day surpass another? When all the days are, 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 are shined upon by the sun. The sun lights all the days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the 15th of the month, the 20th of the month, the 1st of the month. All those days are, 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 are shined upon by the sun, as I said. Go ahead. By the knowledge of the Lord, they were distinguished. So now. By the knowledge, the wisdom of the Lord, the days that excel other days were distinguished by the Lord. The Lord set certain days to be surpassing, or excuse me, set certain days to surpass other days. This was by the wisdom and knowledge of the Lord. Go ahead. And he altered seasons and feasts. So now, these days that he made to excel all other days, he placed feast days on those days or he began seasons around those days go ahead some of them hath he made high days mm. so some of the days that excel others he made high days go ahead and hollowed them and hollowed that means made holy go ahead and some of them hath he made ordinary days and other days are ordinary days so why does read verse 7 again why doth one day excel another? Why? Because through the knowledge of the Lord, he made some high days, he made some holy days, and he said he made ordinary days. This is by the knowledge of God. God knows what he needs to be put in place for the children of Israel. Okay? So finish verse 7 and jump back to verse 9. Why doth one day excel another? When as all the sun, all the light of every day in the year is of the sun. Mm -hmm. Jump down to verse 9. Verse 9. Some of them hath he made high days and hollowed them. It says some of them. Not every day is a high day. Some days are high days. Go ahead. And some of them hath he made ordinary and days. And the rest of them he made ordinary days. So let's go real quick to Leviticus chapter 23. Leviticus chapter 23 and we're going to read verse 1. Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, mm -hmm. Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the feasts of the Lord, mm. which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. So now, here it is. Some days he hallowed, some days he made high days, but here it shows on those high days or hallowed days, it should be holy convocations. Convocation of the word for gathering. So a holy gathering is done on the holy days. Makes sense, right? Go ahead. Even these are my feasts. Even these are my feasts. So the reference is um, should, should proclaim holy convocations, should proclaim as feast days. These are things that are going to be proclaimed. Go ahead. Six days shall work be done, uh -huh. but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. Uh -huh. And holy convocation. So now the Sabbath is an holy day. The seventh day of the week is a holy day. Hmm. Go ahead. Ye shall do no work therein. Mm -hmm. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. Mm -hmm. These are the feasts of the Lord, mm -hmm. even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. Remember we read earlier that he set high days to proclaim feast and seasons so now it's actually tying in right here okay feast days or seasonal days are around the days that the lord declared to be high days or to be hallowed days go ahead and the 14th day of the first month at even is the lord's passover so let's get right into it so the sabbath is a holy day the lord's passover is a holy day now, when you look up the definition of holiday, holiday derives from holy day. Now, we're reading about holy days. Who set those days up by his knowledge? God. God set up holy days by his knowledge. 
who set up holidays? You won't find 4th of July in the Bible. You won't find uh, uh, Thanksgiving in the Bible, Mother's Day, Father's Day. You'll find them, but this is where the Lord says not to do it. We shouldn't be celebrating Mother's Day and Father's Day. Mother's Day being uh, 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 Astaroth and 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 uh, what what is what is the goddess name? Rena. Those 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 are not those are not uh, holidays we're supposed to we're supposed to worship. The days that we're supposed to worship are holy days set up and set apart by the Lord. Not Rena, the goddess Rhea. I said Rena. There's probably some sisters in the body like my name is Rena. Nah. It's Rhea, R-E-A, the goddess Rhea. Those are days that are signified by uh, for Mother's Day and that garbage. No, we don't celebrate holidays. We celebrate holy days, thus saith the Lord. So right now we're reading about another holy day after the Sabbath is Passover. This is a holy day, a day of holy convocation. Jump down to verse 10. We're just going to give you a few of them. Verse 10, speak unto the children of Israel mm -hmm. and say unto them, when ye be come into the land which I give unto you, and shall reap the harvest thereof, then ye shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest. So now here is another high holy day. It's the feast of first fruits. We just read about the Sabbath. We read about Passover. And I'm just, it's just in brief. Why? Because for time's sake, for time's sake, it's in brief. So Sabbaths. Passover, now it's first fruits. Another name for first fruits is Pentecost. The feast of Pentecost. That's the feast of first fruits. Okay, jump to verse 24. Verse 24. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing of trumpets. So here is another holy day. Now you have to ask yourself, do I love the Lord? You have to ask yourself, am I doing what the Lord requires? The Lord has given us holy days for us to observe. God says that feast of memorial of blowing of trumpets is a Sabbath day, meaning no working, no cooking, no buying, no selling on those days. Because those days were set apart, made uh, holy, hallowed by the Lord. Now, if you love the Lord, you'll do as the Lord said. It's very simple. It's not hard. So, he never gave us 4th of July. He never gave us Memorial and Labor Day and all of those things to celebrate. But he's, you're reading about holy days, the Lord said, to have a holy convocation or a holy gathering. Why? Because these are holy days that he set up. Now, if you say you love the Lord, you got to do as the Lord said. Huh. Uh, the end of 24 again, please. A memorial of blowing of trumpets and holy convocation. And holy convocation. Verse 27 now. Verse 27. Also, on the tenth day of the seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. Hmm. It shall be an holy convocation unto you, hmm. and ye shall afflict your souls. You shall afflict your soul, because the day of atonement is a holy day where the Lord, you must fast, not taste anything, not eat anything, nothing of the sort, because it's a time to atone for your sins with the Lord. And the Lord actually wipes your slate clean on the Day of Atonement. Now, one thing I know for a fact, our people need the Day of Atonement. We need the Day of Atonement. All the sins that we've committed against the Lord, we need that thing. So the Lord gave us a day to make our sins or to, uh, uh, or to, um, to, to appeal to him in order to have our sins removed from us. And the way you do that is through fasting, through prayer, and through keeping this day as a holy convocation. Thus saith the Lord. Hmm. Jump to verse 34 now. Verse 34. Speak unto the children of Israel, mm -hmm. saying, The fifteenth day of this mo seventh month mm -hmm. shall be the Feast of Tabernacles. Here we have another. We have, we have holy days in the Bible that we're supposed to observe, but we don't. We observe everything that this place Babylon, as the Bible calls it, or America, as you know it, that they give us. But God gave us holy days, high holy days for us to keep. And the one, one we're reading about now is what? 
The 15th day of this seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles. It shall be the Feast of Tabernacles, read. For seven days unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. On the first day shall be an holy convocation. So on the first day of that seventh day spread is going to be a holy convocation. So you're going to see the same thing over and over again when it comes to the Lord's holy days. Real quick, Ezekiel 20 and verse 19. So I just wanted to go through a few of them. There are more. There are more. Just wanted to go through a few of them in Leviticus chapter 23 with you. Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. Walk in my statutes and keep my judgments mm -hmm. and do them mm -hmm. and hallow my Sabbaths. Now, here's, here's what the Lord said. The Lord already made the Sabbaths holy. He created them to be holy. Whether it be the feast days that we just read about, because those are considered Sabbaths as well. He made those days holy. Now it's your job to make those days holy. By not what? As I mentioned earlier, by not working, not cooking, not, no, excuse me, by not working, by not buying, not selling, so on and so forth. These are the things that the Lord requires on those Sabbath days. You can't do those things, okay? So read that again, verse 20. And hallow my Sabbaths, mm -hmm. and they shall be a sign between me and you. Now, this here's what you here's here's something very important. When you hollow or make God's Sabbath days holy, it's a sign between you and him. It's a sign showing you actually love the Lord like you say because you're doing what he requires of you. It's not it's not hard. The Lord says, "Guess what? Don't buy on the Sabbath. Don't sell on the Sabbath. The way you make his Sabbath holy by not doing that." The Lord says, don't work on the Sabbaths. The way you make the Sabbath holy is by not doing that. Very simple. So read 20 again. And hollow my Sabbaths, and they shall be a sign between me mm -hmm. and you, mm -hmm. that ye may know that I am the Lord your God. Mm. So the reason you are supposed to know who the Lord your God is, is by who you follow, who you adhere to, who you listen to who you follow diligently. So now, who is the Lord your God? God never gave 4th of July as a holiday, but he did give Feast of Tabernacles. He did give new moons. He did give Sabbaths. So showing you'll know who your God is by who you follow. So if you are following holidays instead of holy days, your God is not the God of this Bible. Just so you know. Just so you know. So our, the Lord made the, the, uh, the Sabbath days holy or hallowed. Now it's our job to do the same by what we observe on those days. Okay? So real quick, let's get to uh, Nehemiah chapter 8. Start at verse 8. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 8. Come on. So they read in the book and the law of God distinctly mm -hmm. and gave the sense mm -hmm. And cause them to understand the reading. So this is what we're doing now. We're reading in the book of the law of God distinctly and giving you the sense of what you're reading or what you're, what you're following along with. Go ahead. And Nehemiah, which is the Tershatha, mm -hmm. and Ezra, the priest, the scribe, and the Levites that taught the people, said unto all the people, mm -hmm. this day is holy unto the Lord, mm -hmm. your God. Mm -hmm. Mourn not. Wait, what shouldn't we do on the Sabbath? Mourn not. This is all on because I we we know we know the basics like we just mentioned. Okay? We know the basics. No working, no um buying, no selling on the Sabbath day, right? But there's a there's a type of spirit we should be in on the Lord's Sabbath days as well. So read that again. More not nor weep, mm. for all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Go ahead. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, uh -huh. and send portions unto them, for whom nothing is prepared. Mm. For this day is holy unto our Lord. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Go ahead. Neither be ye sorry, mm. for the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Being joyful on the Lord's Sabbath days is what is, is your strength that the Lord has given you in this life. That's your portion. When you're joyful in the Lord, the Lord will be joyful in you. That's your portion. So real quick, let's go to Hebrews 10, 25. 
for time's sake. Hebrews 10 and 25. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. Mm -hmm. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, mm -hmm. but exhorting so one the, another. When, when do we assemble? We read about those holy convocations, those holy gatherings. On the Lord's feast days is when we assemble together. So don't forsake those assemblies. You gather for a 4th of July barbecue, but you won't assemble on the Lord's Sabbath day. So you're, worshiping the, you're, you're worshiping a God, but it's not the God of this Bible. Don't forsake the assembly or the holy convocation as some do. Some make excuses. Some would rather follow what the world tells them to do. Don't be like them. Remember, God made holy days. It's your job to make those days holy as well. The, the day is going to be whether you're dead or here. The holy day is still here. That day is still here. Now, as you live in this life, it's your job to make that day holy as well. So when your job says, hey, why are you not coming to work uh, uh, on a Saturday? No, it's, it's the Lord's Sabbath day. It's a holy day. So now you're making that day holy. Hmm. Read that again. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together mm -hmm. as the manner of some is, uh -huh. but exhorting one another. That's another part of holy convocations or assembling. You're actually exhorting one another to do what? To stay in the faith. Putting all your sorrows away, man. It's good to see you another Sabbath, man. I had a rough week, but all praises. We ain't got to think about that today. We don't have to worry about that today because it's a holy day and we shouldn't be weeping and sorry. Listen, we, we know we all have problems, but that Sabbath day is the day the Lord gave you to forget all of that. Focus on the Lord. Focus on his work. Go ahead. But exhorting one another, mm -hmm. and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Ezra 9 and 8. Ezra 9 and 8. I know we press for time. I might be a couple minutes over. Just bear with us. Ezra 9 and 8. Ezra chapter 9 and verse 8. Come on. And now for a little space, grace has been showed from the Lord our God mm -hmm. to leave us a remnant to escape and to give us a nail in his holy place. To give us a, 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 a place of fixation in his holy place. Go ahead. That our God may lighten our eyes. That the Lord may light our eyes. And give us a little reviving in our bondage. So wait, in the sanctuary is where we can get that revival of a spirit. Because why? On the Sabbath day, we should be exhorting each other. We should be putting away our sorrows. That's supposed to boost your spirit. In this captivity, one of the few things we have is each other. So we gather together, like-minded brothers and sisters, in order to serve the Lord our God. And in that is our strength. In that is our joy. In that is the revival of our spirit. So with that, Israel, I pray we learn and we apply all that the Lord has said to be servants of the one true God. And with that, we say shalom. Shalom. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries, 
where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.